Now what I mean is as long as the, as long as the inheritor is a child and underage, he does not differ from a slave, although he is the master of all the estate. But he is under guardians and administrators or trustees until the date fixed by his father. So what that simply means that is although we are joint heirs with Christ and an inheritor along with him, legally that's been settled by the blood of Christ, we won't get it in reality. It won't become our experience if we remain little babies who show that we cannot be responsible for the kinds of things that God wants to release to us. We're still children. God loves us, but he loves us so much that he won't give us something that's actually going to cause our ruin. It has been said that it's yet to be seen what God could do through a man or a woman that would give him all the glory. Do you know how hard it is for God to find somebody that he can use in a great way that will still give God all the glory? I won't begin to mistreat other people because now they think they're a big shot. All the silly stuff that goes on in our lives. You know, you may own a company and be the boss, but that doesn't mean that you get to mistreat everybody that works for you. That means if you're smart, you're going to pay them well, you're going to treat them well, you're going to treat them the way you would want to be treated. You're going to appreciate them. You're going to take care of them. And if you do that, then God can just bless you more and more. We all want a lot of stuff, but we don't all, we're not all ready for it. And thank God he doesn't give it to us. Do you know that money can destroy you? Financial blessing can destroy you if you didn't know how to handle it right. And people are always going to give God, well, Joyce, Sister Joyce, if I had a million dollars, I'd give it to you. <laughs> well, did you give the five you had tonight? Or? <laughs> you see, if we're not faithful over a little, we, no, we're never going to be ruler over much because we've already shown that we wouldn't be ruler over much if you won't be ruler over a little. Why ask God to give you a new car if the one you got's filthy? Why ask God to give you a new home if you ain't taking care of the one you got? Oh, Sister Joyce, go on to something else, will you? <laughs> How many of you are with me tonight? You understand what I'm talking about. 